make an animation to reflect this object across the x-axis, so down here. All right. Um, so let's put this object a little closer. Now nah, let's get a little farther away. Doesn't matter. So first we're going to reflect it. So we are going to click here and go reflect about a line. So I'm going to click on the object. I'm going to click on the line that it's going to reflect over. And boom, there it is. Now, um, I don't really like, I want to um, change the color of this. And let's see. So I'm going to change the color and take away these labels. And there we go. Color label. And where are we at here? Label and color. There we go. So now we got a red one. Oh, let's make it blue. Just click the whole thing, make it blue. All right, so we've got two objects reflected across. So what we're going to do now is we are going to create a bunch of vectors from point to point. So we're going to go up here, we're going to click vector, and we're going to go from A to A, B to B, C to C, D, D, E, E. All right. And then from each vector, we're going to, well, first, before we do that, we're going to create ourselves our slider. So let's get our slider. Where are you, slider? There you are. Um, we're going to go from 0 to 1. All right. So we've got our slider from 0 to 1. And then we're going to translate each point, the vector times the slider, right? So I have to start with our last regular point was E. So let's go, well, actually, let's make sure we don't want to reuse points. So. Uh, let's start with T equals, T equals translate, so we're going to translate an object to a vector. So I'm going to translate point A, uh, and then my vector for A is U, and my um, slider is H, so it's going to be U dot H, okay? So now I should have a point. See the little point T right there? All right. I'm going to do that for all of them. So um, U equals translate, um, and that's going to be B, and vector B is V times H, and then what did I do? I don't know what I did, so I'm going to undo it. So <clears throat> U equals translate B U times H. No. V times H. Why is it not working? I hate this when I'm stuck in the middle. So, I don't know what the heck. Let's go the other way. <clears throat> S equals translate B. And so that's vector V. There's a V, there's a V. So vector V times H. 
There it is. What comes before S is R translate C. Um, so T U V W times H. Mm, let's see. Q equals translate um, D, and that would be F times H, M, P, Q, so P, translate, what are we on, A, B, C, D, so this will be E, and that should be G times H, got to spell correctly, come on, stop. This stuff goes in my way. Translator. Translate. E and G times H. Get rid of this other stuff. Come on, please. Go away. There we go. So now we have five points sliding up and down the lines. So I am going to connect those points. So I'm going to grab my polygon making tool and let's see, we have A, B, C, D, E, back to A. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's differentiate this with a different color. Let's make it red. Um, we want to show no labels, so we are going to disappear all of the little labels. And we actually don't need the labels on the points either. So... Not see all of them, but hopefully I'll get them all out. We can check them out later. We don't need T. It's like there's a little T hidden back there. There it is. So there we go. So we've got a shape with no letters going from A, B, C, D, E down to A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. And kind of hard to see this point so let's move it let's move it over here All right you can see the shape moving anywhere you want and then we can actually get this really cool I, I don't like this point over here either um, I should not have done this many points right there that's a good spot um, all right, so we've got our slider, which we can move around anywhere we want. Um, so as we move it back and forth, other things we can do, um, we can show that the angle here is 90 degrees by putting an angle measure in there. Come on. Where's my angle measure? <sighs> Three points or two lines. We don't have. Come on. There's a line there. There's a line there. So we can stick a point. Here and here. And do our angle measure point 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 there's your 90 degrees so I want to show just the value we don't need to show that's there and then um, I can hide these points so I can hide F and G they don't need to be there 
So there's 90 degrees. I could have done it the other way, put it on top, but that's fine. Um, now I'm going to take everything here and I am going to make it orange. All right, so I'm going to make it orange. I'm going to change the I'm going to change the lines to dots. So we got orange style dots. I always do too many. Do 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 color, and you can be color and. Style, come on, not on a point. Darn you, you don't need to be orange. You need to be dotted line and orange, and you need to be an orange dotted line. All right, um, so that helps a little bit, right? But now, let's have some fun with this. Actually, I want to take all the labels off, too. I don't like those labels there. And this one has a label that you can barely see. All right. Um, and this is really cool here. So I'm going to put a checkbox in here. <clears throat> and I am just going to hide stuff. So I'm going to show and hide. Hide the lines. And what lines am I going to show and hide? I'm going to lie. I'm going to hide my vectors. All those vectors that I made are just going to disappear. I don't know if you can hear that scratching from my speaker, but that's what you get for buying stuff from Goodwill. A, B, C, D, E. So I'm hiding those. And I also want to hide my angle, right? So I click that. Oops, always do that. So I click the box, and now it's just floating in space. Okay. So I can see the points go into the points. I can see the lines that they go on. I can see, ooh, look at that changed here um, so that's it so that is an animation of a reflection across a line in this case the x-axis